And uh, today's tutorial is going to be on jumpsuit using crepe material with four yards. So the measurements are the total length is 55, the bust is 34, the waist is 26, and the hips is 37. So I'm starting with the trouser now. So I want to fold this into two first. So I'm folding 20, 26 inches into two. So this is what that's why, that's why it gives me 13 inches here. So after this, I'm going to determine the main length. You know, I told you it's a jumpsuit, so the half length will be 15, so the 15 will be up here. So you are going to measure the main length, which is 55, like I said earlier. The 55 is here with the sewing allowance. So, after this, I'm going to measure the waist. The waist here, I'm using, I'm using um seven with the sewing allowance. Seven from here, seven here too. I'm going to cut this place away. So from this seven, I'm going to measure the flap. The flap where I'm using fourteen. You can see. Passing this way, that will be 28. The total flap is 28. So I'm using 14 here, like this, like this, as you can see. So I'm going to sketch it down because the trouser is not that tight. So I'm going to leave up to like one inches away from here like this like this so here will be one inches here will be bigger than one inches so straight down like this then here you cannot determine the hips the hips here i'm using 36 36 is 9 when you divide the six into four, it's nine. You know, this is into two first. So I'm dealing with the front, so I'll cut the back later. So if you divide the six by four, to give you nine. So with the sewing allowance, so this is all it will give you. So from here, you cannot straight it down. So I cannot cut it now. I'm putting this small allowance in case of necessity. So I'm going to cut the second part too. Up to here. Then you cannot cut it straight. That will make the hips firm. So here is it. I'm done with the front part. So I'm going to take one of these to cut the second part, which is the back. So I've placed one of it, one of the front, to cut the black the back out. So I told you the first one I folded was 26 inches, but this one is more than 26 inches because I told you that. The back side normally bigger than the front side, so this one is like 32, it's also like 32 inches. So from here, I'm going to you can see where the flap stops, so it should be from that flap. We are going to sketch it down like this, so it should be up to like two inches bigger. Then here too. 
we are going to make an owl yeah so yeah it's going to be up to like one and a half bigger one and a half so you have to sketch the one and a half up one and a half one and a half one and a half then you straighten it so from here you're going to join this together with this like this then the same one and a half you're going to continue from here to one and a half you join it to here like this like this like this like this so then you cannot cut it Then I'll cut the other side too. So these are the four points. So I'm done with the southern side. So it will mean the half length. So the half length here is 15 inches. So this is it. I'm going to fold this into four now. So this is into four. I'm going to cut this side the way to make it straight. So, so here is the zip allowance which is up to one and a half inches you can see so i'm going to start with the shoulder the shoulder here is 28 so 28 there by four making seven seven is there so the armpit is also seven which is the same thing as the ammo so from the armpits I'm going to measure the bust, which is 34. Yeah. So for the sewing allowance, so and a half inches. Yeah. So here, which is the same thing as the half length. So I'm going to take the measurement. Here, I'm using seven. So I plug the sewing allowance two and a half is here. So I'm going to sketch it. Then I can uncut. So this is it. So I want to cut the neck now. So the deepness of the neck. I'll take the measurement. The deepness here is going to be five, but for the back, it's going to be two. So the shoulder here is going to be three and a half. So then I can uncut. This is the first one, which is the back, and this is the second one, which is the front. The back side, you remove it, or you might leave it. So on the front side, so this is it. Then if you want to determine the dart, where you are going to put your dart. Here I'm using six. 
so stick there by it's making three so i would like to use three and some three inches point probably two here because of the sewing so so this is where you're going to cut your dart so i'm done with the upside with the outlet so it remains the sleeve and it has one feared beside the shoulder like this so i'm going to cut it for you to see so the next thing here is the sleeve so you can see i'm folding this into four for the two sleeves so for me i'm going to determine the, the sleeve here is um three quarter sleeve which is going to be Twenty one, but this is with shoulder. But if I want to use it ordinarily, so the sleeve length here is fifteen. So this is fifteen. So I'm going to cut, sketch the sleeve out now. Ten to fifteen. So this is the sleeve. I'm going to notch it so you know the center. So I'm done with the sleeve. So this is the half length. This is the trouser side that is going to join with the half length to make it a jumpsuit. So this here is the sleeve. Then thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share. Bye.